Hey, it's Tom, and today I would like to talk with you about dog fooding. But don't worry, I will not try to convince you to really eat dog food. In this video, I will try to explain the concept of dog fooding, its benefits and how to actually implement it in your software development process. Okay, let's start. What is dog fooding? So, in the software development world, the term dog fooding is thought to have originated from a famous quote by Microsoft Paul Meritz, where he stated, we want to turn our software into dog food and then make our developers and testers eat it. The idea behind this statement is that if developers are using the software they are building, they are more likely to catch issues and bugs early on in the development process, which ultimately leads to a better product for end users. Okay, so we know what's the core idea of dog fooding. Now let's talk about the benefits. First and foremost, improved user experience. By using your own product, you gain first-hand experience of the user's perspective. This enables you to identify potential problems and areas that need improvement. This can help to create a better user experience, which is essential for increasing user engagement and user's retention. Another pros of dog fooding is definitely faster feedback loop. When you use your own product, you can quickly identify and resolve issues. This can save you time and resources by catching issues before they become significant problems and before your clients will face them. Last but not least, enhanced innovation. By using your own product, you can gain new ideas and perspectives on how to improve it. This can help to spark innovation and lead to new features and functionality that your users will love, just like you will love them while using your product. Okay, I hope I convinced you at this point that dog fooding is really valuable, but how to actually implement it in your software development process? I prepared a list of five rules which should help you do that. First, make dog fooding a part of your culture. Dog fooding should be ingrained in your company's culture from the beginning. This means that everyone in the organization should use the product. By doing so, you create a culture of innovation and continuous improvement. Second point is to use your product for real work, not for some fake or stage uh, or pre-prepared scenario. So using your own product for real work can help you to identify issues that may not have been apparent during testing or through going through pre-prepared scenarios. This can also help you to see how your product fits into the broader context of your workflow and identify areas for improvement. Third, collect feedback from employees. Encourage your employees to provide feedback on the product. This can help to identify areas for improvement and provide valuable insights uh, into how the product can be used more effectively or in a just a different way than it was planned for. Four, monitor usage data. Monitor usage data to see how employees are using the product. This can help you to identify some patterns and areas for improvement. You can use tools like Google Analytics to track usage data for free. And last but not least, continuously improve. Dogfooding is an ongoing process. Continuously test and improve the product to ensure that it it's meeting user needs and expectations. Use feedback from users and employees to make improvements and add new features. Okay, time to sum it up. So we already know, I hope, that dog fooding is a valuable practice that can help to improve the quality of your software product. By using your own product, you can gain first-hand experience of the user's perspective. You can identify potential problems and make improvements in real time, even before users will face the issues or see that it can be improved. To implement dog fooding in your software development process, simply make it part of your company's culture. 
use your product for real work, collect feedback from employees, monitor usage data, incorporate user feedback, and continuously improve. That's all. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to share your thoughts about dog fooding in the comments section below. See you next time. Bye!